Well, today is National Adoption Day. We're celebrating National Adoption Day, which is a, it's a day to celebrate the families who, are, who adopt children and, and also to bring awareness to people out there in the community who, who may have an interest in, in adopting children, that you know, children are available, children, children will enrich your lives and um, want people to be aware of the adoption process. And so uh, hopefully we get, we, we, um, we, we get some good done today. Well, this is, you know, child welfare isn't known as a particularly happy field. Um, except for this part. This is the one thing that really uh, it, you would describe as, as happy and uplifting. We get to see children reunited uh, with forever families. So it, it's, it's good. It's good for the staff. It's good for me. It, it's, just, it's just a nice feeling. The one thing that we can't do is play the role of a parent. We can't do it. We rely on people like these great people here that have opened their hearts and their home permanently for a child in need. I had a hard time getting pregnant and so we decided to foster and then we had a sibling set come into our lives and we adopted them and then out of nowhere we got a call that mom had another baby and we decided to take that baby as well. <laughs> it's been a, been a wonderful ride, highs and lows, but it's amazing and we're so happy to have all these kids in our lives. You know, I, I've now been the probate judge quite a while and I've finalized an awful lot of adoptions and um, it's just so heartwarming. And I've seen so many children when they get into an adoptive family they just take off, they just blossom and everything, you know, they've always had that potential. They just needed someone to care for them and feel loved and this adoption process does that for them. It, that just means a lot to me. I believe there are three families that we're gonna to finalize today. We have finalized 40 so far this year, but unfortunately we still have 180 children that are awaiting permanent families. But that's why this is so important and why it's so important that you're here and why I'm so grateful that you're covering this so that the community understands the need uh, and understands that there are really 180 kids just in this county alone that need a forever family.